In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at grabbing some information straight out of an AutoCAD drawing, turning it into a 3D model within Inventor. What I've done is I've opened an AutoCAD drawing in Inventor, and I've gone and copied a profile straight out of the AutoCAD drawing. I'm now creating a new Inventor drawing, and I'm going to paste that information straight into the sketch. Information is going to come through perfectly scaled at 1 is to 1. And once I'm happy with it, I can click on Finish Sketch. And the data is now available for me to revolve. Choose the profile that I want. Choose a revolution axis. And I can bring that data through. And I have my pressure vessel. If I go back, I can go and grab information like the bolt holes. I can just go and copy this information like I did before. Shoot back into the first part over here. Create a new sketch on the flange. And I can just paste this data anywhere on that sketch plane. As soon as that comes through, I'm going to turn this into a um, sketch block. And the reason for that is that it groups all the information together. So when I move it now, I can actually align those two centers and all of my holes are in the correct place. So with the hole information in the right place, I can now go and create a hole. Um, create it on point, or on sketch I should say. Um, I'm going to go and choose a clearance hole for an ANSI metric M profile, a hex head bolt, and an M30. Choose one of the holes that I want to use, choose the center point. And the termination or the distance is going to be to the back end of the flange. Just select like that. And I'm saying OK. Right, all that's needed to be done now is to add in a circular pattern. Go and choose the feature I want, the revolution axis, tell that I want 20 holes, and I say OK. And very quickly, we've taken a whole lot of data from AutoCAD and brought it into the 3D environment within Inventor. Thank you very much for having a look.